everybody hope you all are fine and doing extremely well this is prakriti thakur and if you are watching me for the very first time i am an outstation kid in mumbai and i am doing my bachelor's in forensic science so thumbnail se aapko pata chal hi gaya hoga ki this video is all about college admissions kyunki kafi queries the mere sare comment section pe and eventually mere instagram pe bhi kafi log request bhej rahe the and apne queries dal rahe the to obviously maine sabko reply kiya hai waise individually सो फर्स्टली आई वॉन्ट टू क्लियर ऑल योर डाउट्स दैट आपने तो कहा था कि मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी से एफिलेटेड है ना अभी भी लाइक लिख के आ रहा है सभी जगह की मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी तो एडमिशन इज वाइज बींग टर्न ऑन अ वेरी डिफरेंट पोर्टल और वेबसाइट सो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू क्लियर दैट दैट वेन आई हैव टेकन एडमिशन और माई जूनियर बैचेस हैव टेकन एडमिशन दे हैव टू एडमिशन थ्रू मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी पोर्टल ओके इट इज बींग एफिलेटेड टू मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी ओनली बट लास्ट ईयर वेन नैट केम द यूनिवर्सिटी गाइडलाइंस हैव समथिंग चेंज एंड ऑल so now it is being affiliated to Homi Bhabha State University so the affiliation university has only changed so obviously the admission guidelines will also be changed and the admission portal will also be changed so from now on the uh, university that institute of forensic science is affiliated uh, is Homi Bhabha State University and the admission procedure and everything will be followed as per the guidelines released by Homi Bhabha State University uh, we also call it as HBSU in short I will link up the website link and everything in the description box. Don't forget to check it. And also, if you will also search on Google and all, you will find it very easy. So while you will log in on HPSU, uh, they will tell you to register. So you can register by using your normal uh, phone number and your normal details. And then they will give you a like username and a password, uh, and it will be verified by using your either phone number or email ID. and then you can be able to register and log in through your username that is been prescribed and a password that is either will be set by you or will be given by the portal itself so you have to see that it's a very easy process uh, then the second step is you have to enter all your personal details like name father name mother's name wagaira wagaira so i just wanted to clear that for the outstation people who are applying that there are in total 50 seats in our college and 45 seats have been reserved for maharashtra state candidate so it is being perk being a maharashtra candidate maharashtra domicile candidate over there but the outstation kid have only 5 seats in general uh, and it acquires all the people from all over india so you have to see to it you should always have a backup always i will always say that don't always depend upon a single college while applying it is a completely merit based program like uh, on the basis of your 10th and 12th marks you will be able to get into a college okay so there's a new thing that has been administered by hpsu is some extra curricular activity they are finding and also extra subject has been reformed in the admission that uh, filling of the form procedure which i have seen and for that purpose you can always stick to anything whatever as per your knowledge or you can also take take on to the english part because that's easy that's comparatively easy and then you have a extra curricular activity one it has website designing nss wagaira so we have nss as a compulsory thing we have to do it for first and second year for the students but uh, you can always see into the other other options that has been given like whatever it is a website designing or something whatsoever you can uh, you fill the form accordingly as per your choice and your consideration so this is a circular admission circular that has been circulated by the hpsu portal and of course our college as well so the online registration has been started from may 21 and it will be ending on june 8 2020 so the online registration has already started on may 21st and it will be end up on june 8th saturday it is okay 2024 the first merit list will be released on june 10th 2024 at 5 pm okay so this is being said over here that first merit list will be shared on june 10th so make sure you check the website and the portals and everything on uh, 10th of june at 5 pm they will release the first merit list okay and the verification of documents payment of fees and etc will be done Through June 11 to June 15, 2024, like four days के अंदर, they will do everything for your verification and payment of fees. Fees is like nominal only, जो कि government of Maharashtra से करके आता है, उतना ही लेते हैं वो. 
बट यू हैव टू सेंड योर डॉक्यूमेंट्स लाइक हमारा तो ऑनलाइन हुआ था तो मे बी दिस विल ऑल्सो भी ऑनलाइन और मे बी ऑफलाइन आई डोंट नो सो द सेकेंड मेरिट लिस्ट विल बी ऑन जून एटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड एवरीथिंग विल बी डन फ्रॉम जून नाइनटीन टू जून ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ओके अगेन द सेम प्रोसेस वेरिफिकेशन एंड एवरीथिंग विल बी डन एंड द थर्ड मेरिट लिस्ट विल बी रिलीज ऑन जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर There is at 5 p.m. IST again, and the verification and everything will be done on June 25th till 25th to June 29th. So third merit list is very optional kind of a thing because if second merit list में ही आप किसी से filled up हो जाते हैं तो they will not release any further merit list. And a lot of you were also asking about the spot admissions and everything. So yeah, spot admissions takes place. but only at that scenario when the seats are being vacant okay and that generally happens in the month of september or october you know commencement of classes orientation program hota hai hamare college mein ek jisme aapko and aapke parents ko bulaya jata hai in the college and they will explain everything every details everything properly over there and they will let you meet all our professors your seniors juniors and everything okay so it will be most probably on july 1st 2024 as per the notice so i think i have answered all your queries regarding admission guidelines and everything and this is very simple okay and you just have to apply and wait for the merit list to come and if your name will be appear in the merit list you have and first the online verification of the documents will be done as per my opinion like when i have take admission uh, it is like that only we have uh, sent Our documents through mail first, and then when the documents have verified, then we have to send the hard copies of the documents to the college by post. Uh, if you cannot go by yourself, you can send it by post. Then you have to submit the fees. Uh, I have paid around seven thousand at my time uh, by a DD, and have to be sent uh, physically at the address of the institute. Okay, and then your admission proceed. admission will be confirmed from the attend the orientation program again yeah. so that's all from my side if you have any further queries do let me know in the comment section if that will be in the my knowledge i would be more than happy in answering them and if in case it is not in my uh, opinion or my knowledge i would then also answer it by referring to my seniors and my professors okay see you in the next vlog and if you need any suggestions any problem do let me know in the comment section below and uh, yeah and one last thing uh, just search everything nicely before taking admission anywhere because these three years will be very crucial years of your life okay so yeah all the very best see you in the next vlog bye guys take care